So we are at the lake here today, launching out of Port Colborne towards the east end of Lake Erie. And I actually came out here, uh, I think it was last weekend, with Isabella, uh, Lady Bass, you, you may know her as. And um, we had a pretty tough day. We only hooked in to a couple small fish. And actually, this whole fall has been pretty hard for anglers on the lake compared to past years. So um, we're going out at a tough time on the lake. Last year at this time, I was out of Port Colburn and I caught some fish. Hopefully, I can go back today, use the waypoints from last year and from when I went out with Isabella and see if I can hook in to some decent sized fish. Let's get going. So unfortunately there's a boat like right on our waypoints and we want to respect them, respect where they're fishing, they were here before us. So we're going to head to the next spot and later on in the afternoon-ish we're going to come back to this area uh, and see if we can catch anything. Let's get going. Oh wow, I'm marking a lot of fish here. Ooh, there's a bunch right there. Oh my, there's a lot. There's a lot of fish. There's a lot of fish we're marking. Okie dokie. Tube jig is in the rod holder. We're not drifting very fast. We're only going like 0.5 miles per hour. I at least have 100 feet of line out. <laughs> oh, I marked another fish. And another one. Okay, time to go over their heads. So I marked like lots of fish in one little area on one little rock hump. I was just strolling over top of them and they didn't really eat. So I'm going to go grab my drop shot rod that I have rigged up here. And I'm gonna drop it right on their heads and see if they like their drop shot bait. I'm surprised it didn't bite the tube jig though. But most of the fish that I saw were pretty suspended, so that could have been why. Oh, there they are, right on time. Right on top of the waypoint. Oh my goodness, the grab is loaded. It literally looks like Christmas lights. Come here, fishies. I might have to get my different bait out because they aren't really reacting to this. Okay, I'm gonna get my blade bait out because they didn't really react to the drop shot and I'm still marking a few on the grass. They're in this area, but we just gotta figure out what they wanna eat. If I go through every single bait I have in this boat to find them, that's okay. Oh my gosh, there's a fish following my blade bait. That blue line is my bait going up and down, and that green line is a fish. Oh, got him! Yes! That was so cool! No way! That was so cool! I literally watched him follow it on the graph. No! He popped off! No! That sucks! Oh! Dang it. Socks. That was the coolest thing ever. So, I was horsing that fish a little bit too much. I got really excited because I've never caught a fish on a blade bait before. And I thought it was really, really cool that I could see him follow it on the graph. So, that was completely my fault. Not seeing them as much. Well, I dropped that fish, it fell off. It must have spooked to the school or something because I do not see them in this little area that I fished. So I'm going to look for them. There's a bunch. There's a, oh, there's a lot. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of fish on that graph. That good? Okay, spot lock, spot lock. Going as good as I can. Spot lock. 
Still seeing fish. Getting my key burn out. Still seeing fish. Still seeing fish. Let's put this down. We're on 26 feet of water here. We're on a very nice rock pile. So at this point in the day, I still really hadn't caught anything. I had used a whole bunch of baits and I was getting a little bit frustrated. So I decided to take a break, relax and eat some lunch when this happened. Yep, it's that time of day, lunch break. Dad picks up the rod, gets it done. Let's see if I can get on the jump, Let's see if I can get on the jump again. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. That really boosted my confidence, Dad. I think I got him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got him. This is all! No! 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 He came off! No! Why do I have such bad luck today? So my tube jig, I had it in my rod holder, and then all of a sudden I saw it going up and down the tip. So I grabbed it out and I felt weight and there's a fish on it. it seems to be getting a bit more. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this one because got bit twice in a row. That's a fish. I swear if I don't have him hooked good, I swear, like I'm pretty sure I have him hooked good. Oh, he's going. I am, I will be so mad if I lose this thing. I am almost positive I have him hooked good. He feels okay. He doesn't feel like ginormous, but he feels pretty good. He's peeling line. I haven't seen him, like he hasn't jumped. I don't want him to. Because <laughs> I don't want to lose him. Oh my goodness, this fish just doesn't let up. I swear, if it's a sheep head, I will be so mad. It is peeling line, whatever it is. It's got head shakes like a bass. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. I need to take back some line. This is a heavy fish that just does not want to show itself. I also had like 100 feet of line out probably. This is the fish, the fish. If I catch one fish all day, I'll be okay with it. Oh, it's a bass, it's a bass. It's a nice bass. Oh my, get over here. Get over here, oh my goodness. Get over here. There we go! First fish of the day for me! Finally! Smallmouth on the tube jig! <laughs> Man, did this fish give me the fight of a lifetime! Let some line out, spot lock here. It is about time that I've landed a fish! Finally! Fish number one for me on the tube. Woo! I almost fell there. And it is a pretty nice fish too. <laughs> Let's go. It feels good to have landed one. I've not caught a smallmouth in a very long time. Let's put them in the box for pictures later on. He was not coming off. Good old tube jig, once again, saves the day. In you go, lift your buddy. Let's catch another one, woo So I caught that fish dragging the good old school tube jig. This is one of the most efficient, um, most successful baits on Lake Erie. It's a goby imitation. This one is a grayish color um, and it just hops along the rocks while we have been dragging. The wind picked up so I'm just letting it push me instead of strolling like I was before. Uh, I caught that fish on this and 
And I have my second cheater rod, as I like to call it, in this. And I'm just using uh, the um, yeah, uh, Rhythm Wave on Finesse Half Moon. But once again, Tube Jig did not fail me. I love this thing. Yes, the sun is out for a while. Oh, that feels good. Okay, I've got my life jacket on. It's getting pretty windy, and I want to stay safe, just in case, even though Dad's here. Fish on, let's go. It's not very big, but it's still a fish on the tube jig, and that makes me really happy because it's a second fish. Whatever it is, it's not that big. It's a bass, guys! It's only a 12 incher, but it's still a bass. Woohoo! Fish number two for me on the tube jig. Just a little guy. But you know what? It's a fishy. Oh, he's, he's barely hooked. Let's unhook him and then release him. Little guy on the tube jig. This was our Hail Mary spot, and we got one on the Hail Mary spot, so. Pop. There he goes. Maybe we'll catch another 12 incher. I'm fine with that. I don't even know if that was 12 inches. That was probably like 10 inches. If that was a perch, I would have eaten it, but it was not. So, it is four o'clock. And our time is officially up. We have to head home. It's Halloween night. Get into our costumes and uh, take some photos. But it has been a grinder of a fall um, and it continues today. We were seeing the fish, but they just, they don't seem to want to eat for some reason. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've literally used every single bait in, in my boat. But you know what? That's how it is sometimes. Fish don't always bite. Even though I didn't catch a lot today, uh, I still had a great time. Caught a decent one and uh, that was very fun. I thought it was small at first, but then as soon as it got close to the boat, it just took off and put up an awesome fight. So I am very grateful for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I did filming it. If you did, please click the like button. And of course, if you would like to see more content like this, please click the big red subscribe button. And of course, always remember to take a kid fishing. Time to take some pictures and then release my fishy.